Tonight, two elementary school principals temporarily off the job because of possible testing violations. This has parents quite upset because the district did not give them any details of their investigation. ABC Action News reporter Sarah Rosario telling us tonight why parents say they have the right to know. Yeah, parents are upset. They say no phone calls or emails notifying them of two principals here off the job. Meanwhile, they say if it involves children, they deserve a right to know. Not knowing what to expect, they're taking their concerns to Facebook. It's teacher and staff appreciation week, and some parents are feeling anything but appreciative, with many questions about two principals no longer on campus. It definitely needs to be out. I think it should have already been out when they got suspended. Principal Mark Griffith and his assistant principal Anna Jensen are on temporary leave. When we asked, the interim administration wouldn't answer any of our questions. But a school board member tells us the school told them it's because of possible testing violations. There's no confirmation of any wrongdoing, but board members say if the district is informed of anything like this, by law it has to investigate. The Hernando County School District only releasing this statement saying we can only confirm that we are currently conducting an investigation at Moton Elementary. I think it's ridiculous. This mom says she understands due process for an investigation but says parents aren't at ease and not everyone feels the same. If it's personal business then it's not my business. And other parents online agree. This mom saying Griffith is the best principal in Hernando. Another says Jensen is very focused on what's best for students. I don't really think it has anything to do with how he works the school. I'm, I've been happy with the kids have been going here years now. While the district won't say what the investigation is, board members say the district's business office is handling it. Meantime, we're told both Griffith and Jensen are working at other schools until the investigation is over. And with no one talking here, parents who want answers say they plan to ask those questions at the school board meeting tomorrow night at 7 o'clock. Reporting in Brooksville, Sarah Rosario, ABC Action News.